welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mommy Monday. So today I have a quick video. I actually seen this video. So I actually seen this video on another channel and I thought that this would be a great video for me to do because I feel like I've ran into this more times than I actually would have liked to during my time of motherhood. But I also feel like I've been on the other side when I wasn't a mom and I definitely see how maybe I could have rubbed mothers the wrong way. I definitely think you know, it's an easy thing to kind of get yourself into. So, um, if you see the title, you know today I'm going to be talking about receiving um, advice from non-mothers. So, this could be from, you know, grandparents, like, which they are mothers, so that didn't even make any sense. You know what? Hold on. Before we get into this video, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I know you guys know about the new YouTube rules and the secrets and all that. And I do would like to elaborate more because I think when I initially did my video, I was a little lax. I was a little laxed about it and I don't think that I was really understanding correctly, but we'll get into that in another video. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys comment down below and tell me what you want to see because I want to put out content, of course, that I enjoy doing, but of course that you guys like to see because, I mean, if not, what am I doing this for? Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So pretty much I watched a video of a mother talking about um, how she felt about... So in this video, this mother was pretty much giving her opinion about how she feels getting the opinions of others who aren't mothers. So I'm going to just dive right into it because I feel like when you become a mother, you're literally going to get the opinions of parents, non-parents, um mothers, fathers, grandparents, co-workers, you're literally going to get it from everywhere. And that's starting from when you are pregnant. You're going to have people telling you, oh my gosh, you're about to have your baby tomorrow. And you're like, no, I'm not. So you're going to always get people who feel the need to tell you their opinion, to tell you how they feel about something. And I think that just kind of comes with life, you know? I think that comes with, you know, anything you do. But I think as parents, and especially as mothers, we're a little bit more sensitive. So I personally, for myself, know that since I've become a mother, I've become ultra sensitive. So like one little thing you say to me will probably piss me off. And it's not even your fault. It's just the fact that I'm oversensitive because I'm new to this and I feel like you're trying to know what to do personally. Um, but then it brings me back to before I was a mom, I feel like I was always the one like, oh my gosh, when I have a daughter, I would like, I swear, ask my best friend Bianca, I was always that friend like, when I have a child, they're not going to do this, 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 they're going to be in bed by this time, they're going to have a scheduled nap time, and all that, and guess what, none of that is happening, because at the end of the day, you don't know what you're, you don't know what type of parent you're going to be because you don't know what type of child you're going to have. And so I think it's easy to say all this stuff you will do, but you really don't know until you become a parent. Um, and then, you know, I feel like when it comes to people giving advice, a lot of people like to say, you know, I've been a babysitter or I've been a nanny or I've helped raise my cousins. I've helped raise Google's kids down the street. But at the end of the day, that's you're still not a parent. So I was a full time nanny. I still cannot compare that to motherhood because they're two totally different things. At the end of the day, yes, I was a full time nanny, but that still wasn't my children. I still wasn't passing them on. So a, a good example of how I try to look at it, like now that I'm a mom and kind of prepping for this video, a good way I try to look at it is. I wouldn't be able to give a mother who has had a miscarriage advice. 
I can simply give her my condolences, you know, I can give her my, you know, I can give her my sympathy, but I can't give her advice. I can't say, oh, you should probably start again tomorrow, you know, because I've never had a miscarriage. And even if I have, how do I still have that right to tell her how to handle her miscarriage? But I feel like that's where... I feel like that's where it's easy to dibble, like, with people who do have kids. And that's why I say, no matter what, you're still going to get advice. It's still going to be unsolicited, and you're still going to be just as annoyed. Because you can have people who are actually parents, and they'll say, like, well, I've raised two kids. I've raised four kids. Okay? You're not raising my kids. So you can give me all the advice you want, but this is still totally different. And then when I feel, when it's on the other side of non-parents, I feel like it's like, you've never done this before. So even if you babysat your cousins since they were born, you still didn't birth your cousins. You still don't know this connection as a parent, you know, if they're just your cousins. You know, unless these are cousins that you've adopted and you're legally parents. My point is you really can't get advice as a parent if you're not a parent or if you've never been a parent. Like, to me, it's just, it's bogus. Like, you can't do it. And I feel like a lot of people try to raise your child how they would have raised their child how they would have raised their child or, you know, how they will raise their child in the future. And at the end of the day, like, take it from someone who's literally done it. It just does not work like that. So for my moms out there, um, the best advice I can give you, like, for me personally, I really haven't ran into it being a problem. Seriously. Like, as far as, like, non-parents, I really haven't ran into it being a problem. But the advice that I would give you guys is to not take it so personal. But if it gets to the point where it gets annoying, because people do get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm not taking it too personal, but that's letting someone know, oh, so I can keep going? Cool. Let that person know this is my child. I do things how I want to do things. And that's just how it's going to go. And you have to kind of get used to telling parents, non-parents. You have to get used to telling anyone that's not in your household that. Because people would look at me crazy because Kennedy doesn't have a bedtime. Okay. Like, it works for us, you know. Like, to me, it's like, okay, she doesn't have a bedtime, but I'm also not up at the crack of dawn. So, of course, when I start working, things will have to change. But for the most part, I'll get to that when I get to that, you know, when I have to get to that point. To me, I feel like as a stay-at-home mom for over a year now, I'm not about to just be waking up at 5 a.m. putting her to sleep at 7 p.m. because for me, that just doesn't work. Like, I'd rather be up all night than be up early in the morning, personally, and that's just all for me. So I just think in the future, if you run into unsolicited advice um, for from a parent or grandparent, whatever, I feel like you should tell them, you know what, you raised your kids how you raised your kids, I'm going to raise my kid how I raised my kid. Thank you so much for all of your information, but you know... Unfortunately, it's just, it's not a help to me because I don't, I don't want it. And then for non-parents, I feel like you should just politely tell them, you know what? I think that these ideas will be great when you have a child. But for me personally, right now, while I'm raising my child, this is how I plan to do it. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. Um, I hope this video wasn't too all over the place, but let me know you guys' opinions down in those comments below whether you're a parent or not a parent let me know if you're a non-parent you know do you feel like sometimes you dibble in parents you know business and how they're parenting and then if you are a parent do you feel like you're that type of parent that compares your parenting to everyone else's but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one